What's going on guys? This is Cracker here and um this right here is uh the second season of Sniper Saturdays, episode one. Uh the first season started back in Modern Warfare three. I had a couple of episodes of that because it got started kinda late on it and it, it was just a uh, a new season that I wanted to start or new season, new series that I wanted to start and just kinda change things up on my channel because you know like ninety percent of my gameplays are usually assault rifles and SMGs and um just want to bring out another side of you know stuff that I do like to you know do sometimes just to change things up. Um, this gameplay right here, I go I think it's 12 and 4 on uh, the first round of the domination game. I only get like two caps, but I get like six defends on the B flag because uh, we pretty much just took. Um, I think we spawned at A, so we took A and B and you know kind of held them off. And um, I think they end up getting the flag, you know, back eventually. Then in the second round we put it on them again and we end up winning the whole game. But like I said, it's just first round and um, that's that's one good thing that I think a lot of people, including myself, are liking about the domination now. That the split um, it makes you know five minutes aside and you can do two commentaries out of one gameplay if you do really good. And, um, so that's a good thing. But on to what I really want to talk about today is um, on Thursday. Minnesota Burns put up a video that he caught um, a couple guys holding a lobby to do the 10th Prestige mod on Black Ops 2. Um, it's the first I had heard of it when I watched the video and it really opened my eyes up that it is real. And um, I'll link that video down in the description so you guys can go like it and watch it and uh, share it with everybody because we need to try and get this taken care of as soon as possible to prevent a bunch of little homos from running around with 10th Prestige that haven't even played the game in two hours. Because um, when the Christmas news get here, we all know that that's going to happen. And, um, you know, doing that, I, you know, I, a long time ago when I didn't know any better, my, uh, one of my accounts got modded. Um, but since then, I realized how much of a douchebag I was, and that I absolutely do not stand for it because it takes so much away from Get being able to enjoy inbound. the game. I mean, the, that's the whole part of buying the game is to be able to go through it and play it and earn all this stuff yourself. And I mean, that's the main reason why I did the, uh, you know, the camo <clears throat> video that I did. I think on Monday, and you know, somebody was even left a comment on there and was like. <laughs> Well, the challenge wasn't so stupid for the camos, you know, then you wouldn't have to boost to get them. That, that is the most retarded shit I've ever heard in my life. I mean, seriously, they're not that hard. SMGs are probably one of the harder ones because you got it's like a hundred headshots to unlock it. The, uh, the second set of camos. Then you gotta get 150 kills with no atta attachments on the gun. Then you gotta do 150 with no perks at all. And I, you know, I did one of mine last night, and I did the no perk, no attachment camos, both at the same time, and just strip everything off, and 150 gun kills, and you're done. Two camos done right there. So I mean, then you gotta get the bloodthirsties. I think it's like 10 of those, and 30 revenge medals, and something else. And you got a gold gun. And you got four more to do if you want to get the diamond, because you know, you gotta have all the guns gold in one set tier to get the diamond camo. Um. I think personally the snipers are probably going to be about the easiest except that SVU because it just plain out sucks. Um, I think a um, buddy of mine, he, Memnot, he got his, he got his diamond here. What he did with the SVU is went in hardcore and um, did all the challenges for that because it's pretty much a one shot kill in hardcore even though it sucks, sucks ass in regular, uh, you know, core gameplay. So, um, if y'all haven't tried that, it might be something you want to try and, um, that's, that's pretty much it. We just need to uh, get rid of these tents for these lobbies, these boosters. And I mean, they're always going to be boosters. I mean, it's just part of the game. And, um, you know, just the main thing is to get this tent for siege stuff stopped before it gets out of hand. And I'm pretty sure Treyarch could do a good job of getting that fixed. Along with a couple other little things that need to be adjusted in the game. Um, that's pretty much going to do it for this. Um, like I said, this gameplay is a little rough. But, you know, I just started back sniping and, um, Black Ops 2 is different than Modern Warfare 3 was. So it's taken me a little bit of time to get kind of a decent shot. Um, I still got some improvement to do. So the gameplays will get better as time goes on. And, uh, so just hang in there with me. Like I say, it's going to be a weekly upload every Saturday, probably around 10 or 11. And, um, you know, I, I look forward to, uh, you know, posting this video series and, you know, hope that everybody enjoys it. Um, 
Try and mix up the gameplays on it some too. Maybe do some kill confirmed and uh, demolition, domination. I'm um, not sure about search because I'm not much of a search person anymore, but we'll just see what happens. But anyway, guys, this has been Cracker. And um, probably upload again on Monday after this goes up tomorrow. And um, that's pretty much going to do it. And we'll catch y'all next time. Peace.